Okay, so I just bought some solar cells for my solar panel project because I'm going to be uh, working with alternative energy and found a real good deal on some solar cells. I got 72 um, 3x6 half volt uh, 3.6 amp solar cells or 1.8 watts each. Um, plus it comes with the tapping wire and the diode and the flux pins and I got it all for 108 bucks, $5 shipping. So $103 for the cells in the kit. Um, came from Florida, so it should be here uh, pretty soon. Uh, takes about three days, priority mail. Should be pretty fast. And this is what they look like. Seem to be pretty, uh, pretty good cells to use. Uh, it comes with the tapping wire and the diodes. Didn't really say how many diodes it came with, but seemed like such a good deal, I might as well get it. But they're brand new. They didn't say anything about them being grade A or grade B. They just were solar cells. So if I do have a problem and they don't ship or they're cracked, then I will try to get try my best to get a refund. So uh, once they come in, I'll make another video of it and I'll start putting them together. So yeah. Okay, so my, this Saturday my solar cell kit just came in the mail. Um, got my 75 feet of tapping wire, got my two blocking dies, my flux pin, and 72 grade A cells plus two extra. And here's what they look like. They're very, very thin. As you can see, they're very, very fragile. Now they sound like metal, but I don't, so, but I don't really know. I think they're, they're made out of silicone, so. Um, I'll start getting to work on this and I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so right here now I've been working on these uh, cells. I have pretty much um, figured out the key to tabbing these cells together and uh, putting the tabbing wire on the uh, solar cells. Basically, you just have to really need a good uh, soldering iron to do this. Uh, mine's only 30 watts, but it it just you just have to put a little bit. You have to be real patient with it. So. Um, this is one, this is one of the solar cells. I only have a few out here right now, just so I don't risk breaking all of them if, I, if this table falls or something. Got it on two sawhorses, but um, the tabbing wire uh, that came with it seems to be working fine. Uh, I did have a little bit of trouble in the beginning because I really didn't know how to do this. Um, I'm really eyeballing out how I'm doing this, and it seems to be pretty close to where it's supposed to be. Um, I was going to draw dots on the board and do that, but it, with a piece of cardboard that came with it, and just line it up like that, but this seems to work okay the way I'm doing it. Plus, yeah, I'll probably be able to make a smaller panel, or it won't take up as much space, so they'll be closer together. But basically, uh, I think your bottom is your positive and your top is your negative, uh, according to my multimeter. That multimeter might not be working right, but... Um, Basically, I have eight cells right here. I'm about to put on my ninth cell. Um, I'm going to have four strips of nine, which makes 36 cells, which is 18 volts, or around 18 volts at, yeah, that's 18 volts at um, uh, uh, 3 amps, or 3.6 amps. Basically, 1.8 watts per cell, which I think it's more than that, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to just... 3.6 watt uh, amps is how many how much I can get out of these at its full potential. So, so I'll go ahead and show you how I'm tapping these together. Um, I've been doing this for a while, so I've been trying to get a little bit better at it. I mean, this is my first time doing this, so I'll show you. Set it down here on this carburetor bowl. My tripod's broke, so I can't necessarily use it. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna. I'm not very good at solder. I'm not very good at soldering, so just bear with me. Uh, basically, you take your flux pen, kind of like Green Power Science. You just. This is what I got from them. You just take your flux pen and go all the way across on both of these lines. 
And the first time you get these, you need to press. It says you need to press down on it because these have ink in them. They're not those kind that are just a stick of uh, uh, whatever in there. But they they got ink in. They have liquid ink in them. So all right. So basically, I'm going to do three spots on these, and that'll kind of give you an idea of what I'm what I'm going at. Basically, I take it and rock it back and forth on here. Since my solder is, my uh, soldering iron is a little bit slow, so and sometimes it'll get aggravating when you can't can't get it on there perfectly right. I mean, it's just you gotta touch it in the right spot and pre put pressure on it, but try not to break it. I mean, I've already cracked a couple of these. And there's a good solder right there. And I'll do one more in the middle. Just kind of keep on going until you can melt that little piece of tabbing wire onto it. And that one didn't turn out too well. You just gotta, the key is pressure, putting pressure on it uh, when you're soldering if you have a weak soldering iron. I'm thinking about using a blowtorch, but I'm not quite sure. I think I heard it crack. But you get the idea. Um, I'm trying to watch my time and do this at the same time. I'm going to have to work on this one a little bit better. Still a little bit slower. There we go. And then I'll basically do one right here too. So that's pretty much it on how you do it. I'll show you what this one looks like. I kind of had a little bit of a loop right here, but that's not too big of a problem. Um, and like I'll show you what happened when I cracked one of them. Uh, it just left a little tiny hole right there when I was trying to do it. I didn't necessarily finish that right there, so I need to finish that. But yeah, that's that's what your solder should look like. I see some people that go straight across, but they probably have a much stronger soldering iron. So um, I don't. So I'm gonna have to look into getting a soldering gun, which might be, be way better. So yeah, that's basically the full cell, and I'll do a volt I'll do a voltage test on it later. I'm gonna do four of these sets. And I have some more over there that I need to, I need to make some more of those. Or just put some more on the back of these. Basically I did the same thing with them as I did on this. So yeah. And I'll um, go ahead and put this on YouTube and I'll do a part two on this.